Hey guys, welcome back to the C programming, learning by coding. This section is all about looping in C. Now we have, the task here is to print integers from 0 to 14, one per line, as shown below. The output should look something like this. Let's get into it. So if you have code block up and running, and create a new project this is what you get you have a first project that is printing hello world on your screen if you run it this is what you get hello world so we're calling the function call print f and passing a string to the function and we're returning zero because the function is of type integer now we have this here is header files these header file stdio and stdlib are the standard C programming header files that include most of the functions that you find in C programming. There will be some other header file that you can add as you start developing more complex code. And you can also create your own library files. But for most of the program you're going to run, these two header files will be more than enough because there's everything in there. You can open them and see what kind of codes are run are implemented in there. So if you run this program, it will compile and you're going to get hello world. So how are we getting hello world? We're getting hello world simply because we are calling a function called printf, which is a C standard function. So we call the function printf and we pass parameters in the function. In this case, we are passing string in the function and it is outputting our string on the screen on the console here hello world all that is possible because we have this header files and this function printf is defined in one of these header files so if you remove them you're going to have an error because now the the functions is not going to be is not going to find the library where the header where the function is being called to so you have to have the header file and these two header files are the main one that you're going to use in most C programming language. You can create your own header files on libraries as you go along. And then you have to return with zero because the function is an integer. So you have to return a value. So zero is fine. Okay. So the task at hand is we We have to print, not print, uh, print integers from zero, from zero to 14 on the screen. So you know that you must count from zero to 14. So how are you going to print it as we have seen? Each one line at a time. So you have to loop every time you look you must print so the only way to do that is by implementing what we call a for loop now a for loop is a loop that execute as long as the condition is true once the condition become false the for loop exit now what we're going to do is we first going to define an integer for the for loop we say int J. We don't have to initial the integer yet. We can initialize the integer inside the for loop. So here goes the for loop in C. For. We can open the bracket so long. And now we need to pass the parameters for the for loop. So we already define an integer variable J. Now we say for J is equal 0. Now we've initialized J, we've given J the value of 0. Then we say J is less than 15. Ah, So J is less than 15. This condition is true because J is 0. Then we say we increment J. So every time this loop comes in, you say J is 0. Okay, j is less than 15. That is true. Then we increment j. j is now 1. 
then we execute the code in the block then we execute this code and then it goes back it's not going to exit before this condition become false so what do we do then we say print f because we want to print something on the screen so we want to print the value of j so we say percentage d that's a format specifier d for integer d then we have to add escape bar and n for the new line does mean we're going to go on a second line after printing the first one so by adding the escape bar and n that's going to tell the cursor to move to a new line after printing the first line now we need to now pass the parameter for the integer that we just format there now we passing the value of j that must be print there so if we run this code i'm almost certain that we're going to have the output that was required thus output from 0 to 14 now let's run this code and see if we have some success ah exactly as we predicted so the number have been printed from 0 to 14 now we can see that the numbers have been outputted from 0 to 14 as required by the task. Now this was only possible because of the for loop. So I recap first we initialize the value of j to 0 which is an integer. And then we say now this is a key condition. Now for j, every time j is less than 15, we must increment j and then we do this task here. Then we come back again. Now we increment j, j is now 1. So we come back. Now when we come back the second time, j is now 1. We check. Oh, j is still less than 15. We print again. We print the value of j. And we did that. Turn 14. Now see, now notice why 15 is not printed on the screen. Because when j is 15, we come back. Then the condition check j less than 15 uh -uh. j is not less than 15 because 15 is actually equal to 15 now the condition become false so we exit the loop we don't print the 15 then we just come straight here and the cursor is blinking now let's catch it by adding something easy an if statement we say if j is equal to 15 we can also print print something end of for loop so now we know that this loop is not executing when j is equal to 15 so we say okay if we get to that point print us something on the screen to tell us that j to tell us that we have reached the end of the loop that j is indeed equal to 15 now let's check that out that's exactly what we get. End of for loop. Because j is now equal to 15. So that is how you execute this task. Printing integer from 0 to 14. And that's bring us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Cheers.